So this man forgot his grandmother key. <laughs> like, yo, you gotta drive your grandma home. Alright y'all, so So this man forgot his grandmother key. <laughs> That's how you put somebody right on the spot on camera. <laughs> Damn, bro, I mean, tell, tell them what happened, bro. I don't know. I was at the crib. My dad was like, "Yo, you gotta drive your grandma home." So me, <laughs> me loving my grandma, you know, I'm, I'm I'm trying to make sure she get in the house, and like, she crying, you know, you know how you, she 96, she want to talk her shit, but I'm trying to get out the mud, you know, in Philly, the, these box small as. This is our, that our motto, bro, that shit ain't, can't nobody get around, so I know I'm being weird. I see niggas pulling out they spot, backing up all the way down the street, so I'm like, Graham, she like, ah, ah, trying to hold me in there, and I'm like, oh my God, Graham, you, you have to open the door. The keys, the keys, and how the hell? So he gonna have to drive all the way to Philly to no, drop I the keys. <laughs> no, my dad, my dad gonna drop the keys off when he, um, oh, he gonna when he drop my mom off. Uh, oh, yeah, he do drop her off. Uh, shit. Bro, mm -hmm. what I wanted to tell them though, I know I ain't even start this video off the right way, man. Make sure y'all subscribe, man. Welcome back to Old Really TV. Welcome back, man. Make sure y'all subscribe. <laughs> make sure y'all subscribe and hit that post notification bell. Hit that like. Drawling, you were drawling. Anyway, nah. What I wanted to get was, uh, I ain't gonna make this video long, but yo, tell we gotta tell them about. I was holding this story time, John, for when you was around. We got to tell them about the time we was in South Street and bagged the joint on her birthday in Ishka Bibbles, yeah? <laughs> so I can start it off and you can, I guess, interject. Yo, whenever. cut that joint, yo. No, nah, no, because it's I funny do, as hell. Why, why you ain't tell me? Tell you what? <laughs> to do this tomorrow. <laughs> to do it tomorrow? Bro, you should have told, yo, you should have told me. I've been always wanting, bro, but I've been always wanting to tell you, like, yo, we should talk about the Iskip Bibble Jones. We don't got to go into the details. Right, no, so I want to see, see the thing so is, how about this? No, how about that day was funny as hell how because, about, how about we wasn't we with Sayer that day? Yeah. Exactly. No, no, that was your brother. That was Fahim. Exactly. That's, that's so we got to have Fahim on camera. That's when I ran the light. And how? Well, yo, yo, we got to have Fahim there. But look, all right, so this is what I want to do. What yo? We got definitely want to do. Bro. I definitely want to do a story time segment on my channel. Um, I think my channel is actually having a lot of different uh like playlists. So once I I guess get monetized on this channel, I'm gonna create a whole nother channel for like I guess the vlogs and everything, and just move all the vlogs over there. But anyway, um, I just wanted to briefly touch on a few stories, and then y'all let us know if y'all want us to go into detail them Jones. I was just trying to make a quick vid because of course I need to give us five topics. Five topics that you want me, me and O, to talk yeah, about. Yeah, that one we can put do in not the male make, perspective. Do not, do not make them boring. Because we ain't do a male perspective make, in make, a year. Make these convos, these questions, make them diverse where fit women and females. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Can actually answer and not just, is they can't be one-sided answers. You said it, women and females, cuz? No, I said men and, and women. You said women. I probably did, but, you know. I'm going to run it back <laughs> Fit women and females can actually answer and not just is they can't be one sided answers. You said it, women and females, cuz? No, I said men and, and women. You said women. I probably did, but you know. I'm gonna run it back. <laughs> but but males now I, and females. I wanna definitely keep up because we gotta post another male perspective uh video. We ain't do that video I think since like twenty eighteen. Like right. male perspective on anything. On just how women acting weird nowadays. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just 2020, so yeah, yeah. I, since I don't got my glasses, we talking clearly, y'all. Yeah, because he was broken video. glasses back then. <laughs> but nah, uh, I definitely want to do a different, like I said, a different segment of story time. Uh, of course, I'm going to have my own story you, times, you but... You got to turn it off, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm going to turn the camera off eventually. But look, I need to get my dad on content. Like I was saying. <laughs> like I was saying. <laughs> I definitely want to do a yeah. story time with the bros, of course, but I got my own story times, of course, in the tuck. But I just nah. want to touch on a few topics, a few story times that we got in the tuck. So we got a South Street John with with Lean and his twin brother that involves like me. Shout running, out to him. Me PG. running a light in front of a cop on South Street. Uh, what else happened that night? Oh shit! Bag the John and Ishka Bibbles. 
like by accident. It was on uh, purpose. Did we see a fight that night? Now that was another night. Almost, no, that was the same night. Almost. That was the same night. Candy Lady dropped all candy. Oh, Boy, man. Boy was ready to beat up this chick. Oh, man, I was ready. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, it, it was a wild night. We actually seen a fight. Yeah, that, that was a wild. Then we got to talk about Baltimore trip for my 20, what was that, my 22nd, right? 23rd, my 23rd. 23rd. My 23rd, we went to Baltimore. Yeah, what's your 23rd, brother? Got lit every day. I don't remember half of the trip. What else we got to talk about? Um... <laughs> Oh, the situations with the courts. The last time we hooped, um, oh, March yeah. 6, because that's the day we were left on. Oh, um, yeah. oh, yeah, Ronnie birthday party. Well, I got cussed out by like a 14 year old. <laughs> I got cussed out because they was mad because they couldn't sleep in their bed. That now, they <laughs> now, we will not go that far. Yes, we is. Okay. Pro there is no whole okay, bars okay, guys, on this channel. Guys, proclaim, you feel me? She was a friend. She was 19. She was 14. She slapped on him. <laughs> she slapped on him, so now he's upset. So let's clear up the air. I ain't upset about nothing. Before y'all start acting up. I still got the videos on my phone. I ain't upset about nothing. I'll leak them. Look, I don't care. She worked with us, guys. Us. She worked me. with them. So. She ain't kidding to me. Don't let that. <laughs> don't, don't let that. She not kidding to me. <laughs> she kidding to y'all. What else we got to talk about? Um, let's talk about some recent stuff. He not, about to rumble the homies. No, I wasn't going to do all that, but you know, we gonna to touch on that in the next video. Man. About we don't know. No, like we, I said, we gonna talk about it brief whole, right now. We should have a whole segment of, of how do you yes. respect your homies. Yeah, and it's called a guideline. All right, then this is also what I had to say. If y'all brothers, if y'all real brothers, do y'all think it's acceptable? To throw the gloves on and get right one time. I think so because I don't feel like guns need to be involved. I don't feel like y'all need to be bare knuckle going at it because that's when, you know, people start trying to throw a knee or a kick. You no. Know? I think you should throw the gloves. If y'all really have a bad, real disagree, real bad disagreement, throw the gloves on. Throw the gloves on, on whoever, whoever win, who win, but pick yeah. your brother up if you knock him down. Yeah, get busy, bro. So then y'all know when y'all yeah. out on the real, the regular street, oh, no, y'all know your man getting bopped. Yeah, bro. But you know. Because anybody uh, anybody can pick a gun up. That's that's easy. If you pick a gun up and shoot a nigga, you afraid of him. That, that's easy. You couldn't go out like a man. That's easy to do. I mean, sometimes you got to match people's energy in the streets. I understand that, but... If that's the first thing you going to. Uh, you got you to pick, pick it up. All right, it's cool. But I don't know where to, um, you know. It's cool, but let's finish this video first. I probably need another, like, two minutes. So, as y'all know, <laughs> as y'all know, we got a lot of a lot of stories in the oh, tub. Oh, you can cut that out, right? No, I'm cut. What out? You ain't say nothing. You ain't say nothing. But, no, nah, this year, this year has been funny already. Uh, it's, it's, it's been funny, humbling, exciting, um, scary, uh, all of the above. Um, it's scary. But the thing, the reason why I'm saying it's scary because a lot of you niggas is broke. That's why it's scary because your pockets are scarce and you're tapping in this empty and it's empty for no reason. Should, <laughs> I'm gonna just say this when it comes to the whole, the whole money. Y'all broke. All y'all do is talk shit about niggas who take care of y'all. And, yeah, and it's look, like, for real, for real, half y'all can't even spend a dollar for your own mans to get something to eat. Y'all can't even send your mans to the to the, to, to Chick-fil-A and pay for his job while he do something else for you that you need done. But you can't just, <laughs> you know, accept that and be like, yo, if you owe me, okay, bet, you got to drive me to go get food anyway. Even though I don't realize, bro, something on you. Oh, why is it on me? It's understanding. You ain't going to amp on your mans. Nah. My, you just calmly say, yo. My thing is, though, yo, like, y'all need to understand, bro. That your friends is fucking broke. I don't talk. I don't. Let's see. See, that's him talking. If you ain't little, if you hanging around niggas with holy draws, what you think? If your draws not holy, why you hanging around a nigga with holy draws? Why you hanging around a nigga that don't get money? Why you hanging around an unathletic nigga if you play sports all the time and you can't help him out? Why are you just sitting around some bum ass niggas that don't care to take care of their daughters, but you take pride in what you do? You going to sit around a nigga that don't take care of their kid and think that shit cool? Bring them around your family and shit like that while the people's feed them? Nah. Now, see, it's them type of niggas I call leeches. And they don't know, you know what I'm saying? They don't know that when they got friends because they are not a true friend. And that's why they're they probably going to stay with them holes in their drawers when they get in relationships and when they get in relationships and 
people buy them like TVs, and cause I know females be doing weird shit like buying pipe, buying like I, the TV. I, if, if I was in a relationship, I would want the TV to be like 55 inch. So them joints probably cost like 400 dollars. But if but if I got it for free from somebody from my girl, man, I get them shits to one of my mans, man, only because I didn't deserve it. Oh shit, you got to chill. But you know, since somebody wanted to run me off, and I told them turn the camera off, they gotta put this up now. You. I ain't gonna put all this up. They gotta put this up now. Cause and disclaimer, he not talking about me. <laughs> disclaimer, he oh, not no. talking about me. Oh <laughs> no. This is one of my home team niggas. He's not talking about me. Hey yo! <laughs> he not talking about me. <laughs> so, <laughs> since a nigga want that goof with me, and since I love you so much, mm, now watch I'm what I do. Saying, look, yo, he ain't talking about me, but what I'm, I wanted to say is, yo, I ain't gonna call y'all broke. You me started off. this. You started this. I ain't gonna call y'all broke. Want him, me you wanted you wanted you wanted me to tell you wanted me to tell him about the broke nigga that that we know. I ain't going with the holes in his drawers and then he think niggas unloyal. I ain't gonna do that. And he think it, niggas wanna fuck his girl that's fat. Like, come I on, bro. Look, niggas I know all my bitches is thick with fat ass butts. Niggas, my baby mom's for bottom is I don't know what his baby mom does. Yo, I ain't. Cause he don't even take care of his own fucking kid. I, Whoa, you I see? Niggas out here got their kids sleeping on floors and shit, but they worry about my clean ass dimple baby, that Yo, butterball. I ain't got nothing. You feel to do me? With but this. they going, they, they gonna try to play me, taking that one, talking I want they bitch. I don't got Why, nothing. Why, nigga? To do. I don't need none of my niggas bitches, cause me and my niggas, they really know. If you really my nigga, you get bitches a lot. I so don't. it's so hard to choose from. You don't even know the fucking baby mom gonna be. I don't got nothing to do Because you got so many bad though. bitches. We only fuck with bad Yo. bitches that's in school, got something to do. Parents got fucking bread because clearly we got bread and our parents got yeah. bread. But we don't live off them like f***s. Yo, I ain't so got you, Hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, I ain't even done yet. And y'all ain't y'all little broke, bummy-ass bitches that can't even buy us no Chick-fil-A because that's what the fuck we like. I'm saying, yeah, yeah. Yeah, motherfucker, I like it with the avocado sauce, motherfucker. Lime ranch and shit or the Chipotle. You gotta know me to wanna fuck with me. You feel me? Yo. Yeah, we got the bags. If you can't do this for me, dog, if you can't do this for me, dog. Spicy deluxe nugget, eight count cob solid auto. You feel me? Ketchup mayo with sauce, lemonade, medium. If you can't do this for me, or my man's kick rocks. Cause we could do it for ourselves. That's a fact, cause I do Straight. Love Chick -fil -A. Fuck you, me and my and we love Chick-fil-A. Only start loving Chick Fil A because of him, and, and if a shooting ain't coming like that when I'm hungry, I don't want you. <laughs> Get from away from me. Go fuck with them niggas with the holes in their drawers, bro. Real nah, rat. I got you, because man. these little Jersey bitches, y'all ain't from the trenches. Y'all want these fake ass hood niggas that scam shit. But when niggas really run shit up from the muscle, nah, nah, y'all, y'all, y'all like the niggas that run shit up from the muscle. Y'all, y'all like them fucking dirty ass niggas who I gotta do shit for, who got holes in their drawers so you can talk about them. Because y'all fucking insecure about your own life. That's why. Because we know about our niggas. We know they got holes in their drawers. That's why we niggas. And that's why we fuck with each other. Home team shit. Little fat bitches. And real rap. My nigga BJ should have fucked you that night. And you know what I'm talking about. And, mm, you know what? Yeah, chill. You guys to chill. Look. I ain't gonna call y'all broke, but I'ma just say I've been had money before my stimulus. Nah, and y'all niggas had this shit coming too. Before my playing the niggas' faces like y'all some all y'all oh, oh, some fucking little niggas, bro. I ain't calling nobody broke, but don't. don't no, them niggas is broke. Don't, don't try to. Y'all bitches telling us that y'all got holes in y'all drawers, hold and y'all mad bro. at us because we try to make try to show y'all we loyal hold on, and tell bro. you your bitch try to suck one of our niggas off. Hold, hold on, bro. And the same team. But y'all gotta understand. That's yo. home. Don't don't say old broke or old don't show his bread off or nothing. I had money before my stimulus check hit, so please don't come at me. Man, nigga, no your bread. bread been good, dog. No, don't Fuck. come at me. Dumb nigga, you, ain't, you got holes in your drawers? You ever walked around holes in your drawers? Cause your nah. mom won't let you. Nah. Fuck out of here. I don't even got holes in my socks. Like, my socks cost get fifteen in, to twenty dollars. Like, well, I gotta get in the back. I gotta get hard. Back. He wanted wild. to play with his nuts. That is wild. And I'm in charge of his drawers. We gonna tap back in with shot. We gonna tap back in the show, man. Take it, take I'll, it, I'll, let y'all appreciate y'all, man. Go subscribe. Love. Man. And I ain't gonna let nobody take away my fall. Nobody on planet Earth could take away my scars. Life ain't fair, so karma makes it hard. I'm just trying to play the part.